Hello, you are watching the Unipro Eugene podcast. Here we discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. In Eugene, you can create and run complex computational workflows with better utilization of available computing resources and with the intuitive drag-and-drop interface. For example, we will perform exporting hundreds of sequences from PDB files into a new FASTA file. For this purpose, we will use Eugene Workflow Designer. To open the designer, we activate tools Workflow Designer. At the left side, two tabs are available – Samples and Objects. Samples contain different default schemes, but we will develop our own schema. Thus, we press Objects tab to get access to the objects available to be added to the schema. The objects are processes or routines, which have input and or output ports used by objects to transfer data. First of all, we need to read sequences from PDB files. For this purpose, we drag the sequence reader object to the schema. Select the appeared Sequence Reader 1 object with mouse. The detailed description of the object has appeared in the Property Editor, which is placed at the top right. The circle to the right of the Sequence Reader 1 is an output port. The object description says that it reads all sequences from unset location. Let's set the location. We can do it in the Parameter panel from the bottom right. We click on Location value, then on Appeared Browse button and finally specify desired PDBs. Workflow Designer asks us if we want to divide the list of PDB files into separate iterations. Iterations are used to customize settings for every element. We answer no, since we would like to process all the elements uniformly. Now we need to write all the outcoming sequences into a file, so we drag write faster object to the schema. The act to the left of the object is an input port. Click on the writer. We see that it writes all the supplied sequences to a faster format file. Awesome! We also need to specify the location of outgoing files. Click on location value. The writer is currently selected. Click Browse button and specify the output file name. Finally, we connect our two objects by dragging the output port to the input port. Thus we have created a data flow between these two objects, which processes sequences as mentioned on top of the data flow arrow. We are ready to run the schema. To do this, we press Run Schema button. The work is done, and we have a new report. Oops, we've got a warning too. The warning means that we didn't specify additional data, which must be used as faster header. It's actually OK since these headers were generated automatically. And we still have the new report. It says that the schema execution is finished. Let's open the output location. It has one file accumulating all the sequences. We can load it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and feel free to comment our videos and post requests to our forum.